Okay, back again, just playing around uh, with ZVS. I got one of these cheap ones off um, eBay. I think they're 50 bucks or something, 35 bucks. Uh, Willie Menke's got all this equipment pretty much um, the same. He, he's uh, a bit ahead of the curve on what I'm doing. He's got some amazing stuff, so um, check his channel out. But uh, I had a question for a long time and I, uh, I didn't have uh, my setup ready to have a crack and, and, and have a bit of a, a play to figure this out. But I wanted to know if current could go through these. These are 7.5 watt, I think that says there. Oh, these are 4 watt. Oh my God, gee whiz. These are 4 watt fluorescents. And I always wondered if... Um, if you could have them in series with, say, a 500 watt globe, this is 500 watt, 240 volt, and whether current would flow through these, um, or, or what would happen, because it essentially turns into plasma. This is in series, it's coming out of here, going in here, along here, out of here, into the um, resistance, and back into this. Now, it's probably not tuned, I haven't got to that point yet, but it seems to be going okay. But anyway, so back to the point, it does. In fact, um, it actually gets quite hot over time. Um, so I'll switch it on. Um, I think I've just got it at, uh, I will soon find out. Okay, so we've got it at um, 40, 44 watts. So I've put it in this in its little cardboard box there because otherwise you can't really see this. I've got to be careful what I'm touching here because it'll give me a nice set. That's not glowing as orange as it looks. It is a bit orange because of the cardboard box, but it's a lot more orange because of that. But um, yeah, so that's uh, 44 watts. And it seems to uh, allow current, because I've got this question of uh, energy and being converted. They say it can't be destroyed nor created. It can only be um, changed or... Um, uh, so I'm looking at that thinking, well, it goes turns into a, a plasma, an ionic gas uh, fluorescent in this respect. And then um, they turn back into electrons, I guess, and go back through here and... The electrons fly through here, and this is AC. I love the heat that pulls out. Um, so uh, the next thing I'm going to start playing around with um, diodes, and uh, maybe um, it'll be half AC uh, alternating on one side, and then uh, direct current on the other. But uh, yeah, I thought that was very interesting. These can literally pass um, quite a bit of current. So if you had a cooling mechanism to keep them cool. Um, maybe, maybe you can use it as a ballast. I'm not sure you could probably use it as a ballast. I guess that's a ballast. I guess so with the resistance and then, uh, yeah, all these things going on. There's a lot, lot to think about. Quite an interesting, um, uh, concept that, uh, plasma can change, um, back into electrons, I assume. Yeah, once we get the DC going on one side, we'll see what happens then, because um, then you literally do have uh, an electron dam with the diode, and it might change the characteristics, but that's, that's 45 watts. Um, I'm not going to touch it, but um, that, that glows full brightness. This is just about what you'd expect from about 50 watts, so that's fine. Thanks for watching.